Hello Chem 1441 students. I will be showing you a quick demonstration of lab 506 and giving you a couple of tips that will help you a seemingly easy lab go by more smoothly. Let's get started. The two main important things about this lab is set up and recording all pertinent information that will help you in your post lab report. Here I'm showing you two quick easy ways to set up your lab experiment that works for me. Here I'm putting the magnesium turning into the test tube and securing the stopper onto the test tube. You can put an empty syringe into the hole of the stopper and push air into it to check for leakage. If there's no leakage, then you know that no hydrogen gas will escape during the course of this experiment. You want to put about 2 inches of the tubing into the graduated cylinder. I like to put more to ensure during this course of the experiment the tubing doesn't come out. Warning, put on safety goggles, gloves, and an apron. You'll be working with a thumolar hydrochloric acid solution that will burn you if proper safety precautions are not observed. This is the complete setup of your experiment. Be sure to record the initial volume to one significant figure higher than the graduated cylinder offers. Place the thermometer into the plastic bowl and make sure the test tube is in a water bath because the reaction is exothermic and generates heat. You want to push the hydrochloric acid in slowly to reduce the risk of the stopper popping off and give the hydrogen gas time to displace the water in the graduated cylinder. The initial volume should be 0 milliliters if the graduated cylinder is completely filled, but if you're unable to fill it, be sure to have the water start where there are graduation marks for an accurate initial volume. As you can see, the water in the graduated cylinder is being displaced by hydrogen gas being produced by the reaction. You can swirl the test tube a little bit to help with the reaction. The reaction is complete when there is no fizzing and the contents of the test tube are clear. Once the reaction is complete, you want to leave the setup as is and record the final volume. After the reaction is complete would be a great time to record the temperature. This is because the thermometer needs some time to give a precise reading.
Using centimeters, record the height correction, which is from the top of the water level in the plastic bowl to where the water was displaced in the beaker. You can raise or lower the graduated cylinder in your next trials to equal the same height as the water level in the plastic bowl so that you won't have to do the height correction. Here I'm just putting my waste in a container. Be sure to record the barometric pressure your TA gives you. At the end of your experiment, all waste should be disposed of in the halogenated waste container. Thanks for watching and have fun.